How's it going everybody and happy first day of spring. I hope you're enjoying the weather outside. I hope you're watching as many spring training games as possible. Of course, with spring being here, the regular season of Major League Baseball is just around the corner. And in the meantime, I have another in real life baseball pack opening video for you all today, which I'm really excited about. These cards are finally showing up a little bit more consistently now in stores. I was able to pick up all three of these boxes at Target just the other day, and I decided I wanted to do a little bit of a challenge video, a 1v1, if you will, of $20 versus $20. As you can see, I have two hanger boxes and a blaster box. Each hanger box retails at $9.99 a piece, and then of course a blaster box retails as $19.99 a piece. So exactly, roughly, I should say, $20 in two hanger boxes boxes versus $20 in one blaster box and make it a little competition see which which sets I guess of baseball cards is going to give us the most value out of it I mean obviously of course the hanger boxes are already in the lead without even opening up anything because you get 67 cards a piece whereas in the blaster box you only get 99 cards so just in the quantity of card and the price per card value the hanger boxes are in the lead but as we open up all of these cards we'll see who really is in the lead at the end of today's video I'm really excited so let's just get straight into it I believe I'm gonna actually start with the hanger boxes and then put the blaster box to the side for now we'll get back to it later because uh we haven't opened any 2022 series one hanger boxes on this channel we have done some blaster boxes of course, if you want to see any baseball card opening videos, I will link the playlist in the description down below. Maybe even put it um, as a cue card in the top corner of this video, but let's get right into it. I know many of you are probably very familiar. Oh, that is very loud. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are very familiar with all of these cards already. I mean, we already have Topps Heritage coming out. But in my opinion, even though we've seen this product for a couple of weeks, it's still very, very exciting to open up. I personally still don't have the base Wander Franco card, so I would love to find that in one of these packs today. I do have the 1987 edition of the Wander Franco, so I can't really complain there. But without further ado, let's get into these hanger boxes and let me know in the comments down below which which do you think is going to win the 1v1 the two hanger boxes or the blaster box let me know and uh without further ado let's just get into these cards maybe we'll have an opportunity to complete the whole set once we open all of these that'd be really cool we have travis shaw We're gonna have to turn these around we love when they're flipped over of course we're looking for the corbin burns card that's usually going to let us know that a wander franco is right behind got a lot of sideways cards i'm not going to turn all of them over of course if we see maybe a, a different looking card or perhaps a number card we'll flip that over or of course correct the order right here we have ahmed rosario max scherzer matt barnes max scherzer of course now on the new york mets oh if i'm a mets fan which i'm not but if i am i i am very excited for jacob de and max scherzer as the one two punch for that rotation i'm a huge white Sox fan and i am very excited about our bullpen pitching acquisitions obviously we got joe kelly and uh we will see what the white Sox continue to do in the off season have a nice little refractor uh paven smith right here it is not numbered just a normal refractor we do have a 35th anniversary edition of ozzy smith this is where all the good stuff is going to be right in the middle of the pack Stars will be Clayton Kershaw, Vladdy, Key Brian Hayes, Luis Robert. I was just about to mention, I, I don't have any Luis Robert or Lucas Giolito cards, so I'm very excited about this. I, I've been wanting to pull his Stars of MLB card for a very long time, and uh, well, we have it. Maybe I should put it to the side, maybe make a separate pile So we, when we compare these boxes. And then we have a die cut of Steve Carlton, not too shabby. All right, now where was I? What was I saying? Ah, yes, the White Sox, of course. Um, so we got Joe Kelly for the bullpen. 
We did, of course, pick up Kendall Graveman before the lockout. We have Josh Harrison, who's going to be playing second base. Then we did get Velasquez as a starting pitcher, but I'm not sure how much uh, starting rotation time he's going to see. I am really, really hoping that Rick Hahn is going to pick up Michael Conforto, but we'll see what goes on with that. Got a nice base Vidal Brujan rookie card. I did get a refractor of his in that very first 20 tops 2022 series one video on youtube if you uh did not check that out spoiler alert but let's finish up these cards still looking for that base wander franco but we might just have to wait for the next hanger box or even the blaster box because that is going to end hanger box number one not too shabby nothing overly special but to be honest i'm happy with what we have of course, very pumped about the Stars of MLB Luis Robert card. I will probably just uh, go ahead and sleeve that up right now because I'm a big Luis Robert fan. He does go into my PC, and uh, that looks pretty, pretty good. As always, um, off video, I will sleeve up any and all cards that should be sleeved just for the sake of time. Uh, keep that for, for responsibility after the video, anything that maybe needs to be sleeved up immediately will be sleeved up immediately. For example, when we when we're gonna be optimistic here, we pull that Wander Franco card. Just had to get the plastic covering off. Let's flip this over, see what it looks like on the inside. Take out our cards. Oh, that's a nice picture of Kevin Pillar just trying to climb the fence there to rob a home run. But I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are. Feel free to uh, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you'd like. Again, leave a comment. We're, we're, we still have a lot of cards to get into about which you think, which which segment, either the hanger boxes or the blaster box, do you think is going to win this so-called 1v1? I think the hanger boxes have a great chance, but we did start off a little weak, so hopefully some rookie cards will kind of help us out as we proceed through these baseball cards. And of course, if you want to leave a comment in the description down below on what you'd like to see next. Again, I did, mess I did uh, mention that Topps Heritage recently came out. There's a nice Tim Anderson. I love those Southside unis. So if you'd like to see me unpack some Topps Heritage, some 2022 Topps Heritage, please let me know. I would love to. I already plan on it. And I would love to uh, make that a priority. We have a nice retail blue of walk-off water celebrating a Yankees walk-off. Okay, is it focusing? Are we having camera problems here? We'll see how the rest of these cards go forward. Have a 35th anniversary of Daryl Strawberry. Now we're getting some stars of MLB cards. We have Key Brian Hayes, another Luis Robert. I'm not gonna complain about that. Yelly, Fernando Tatis Jr., who unfortunately has suffered an injury. He's gonna miss roughly the first three months of the season, which really, really stinks. A welcome to the show, Chipper Jones card. And that's gonna do it for the middle inserts of these baseball cards still looking for that wander maybe his star of mlb card might show up um in our blaster box but it's not going to show up in either of these hanger boxes liam hendrick shout out to the white Sox, as always of course bobby dahlbeck that's a great future stars card omar narvaez shout out white Sox legend jake berger Ronald Acuna Jr., he's, who's rehabbing his ACL injury. There were some clips on Twitter of him taking some batting practice, and uh, good for him for being back sooner than I personally would have expected from that ACL injury. There he is, Shohei Otani, card number one in the series. Obviously the cover athlete to this series, as well as the cover athlete of MLB The Show 22. Always nice to snag a Shohei Otani card when you can. Jaron Duran, rookie card. And then a couple more cards as we finish off this hanger box, G-Man Choi and Victor Reyes. So that's what it is for the first $20 of the two hanger boxes. Again, nothing too special. Great Stars of MLB cards. I did enjoy the die cut cards, but this is where the blaster box is going to have a say in who wins and who loses in this 1v1. Of course, we do want to try and declare a winner and a loser instead of a tie here. But uh, I also, the reason why I saved the blaster box for last, I, I like opening up the individual plaques. I think it's, you know, fun. Um, but let's see what we get in here. We will also get 
a uh, commemorative jersey relic patch in the blaster box. Sometimes you can find them in the hanger boxes. They are, of course, um, always guaranteed in a blaster box. In fact, I believe it's in this top pack. So I'm going to actually save this top pack for the very end so we can kind of keep it a surprise. It does feel a little lighter and does have a thick stock in it. Yes, so we're going to save this one for the very end and then start off with these packs. Really, just a couple rookie cards that Vidal Brujan and uh, the Stars will be Luis Robert is kind of sticking out right now for the hanger box as well as the die cut cards and the welcome to the show. But let's see what our blaster box can do for us here as we get right into it. We have Ryan McMahon, Double Bath, some team cards, Jacob DeGrom, as we mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, Mitch Moreland, Whoop, got to turn these around here. Jose Iglesias, Eugenio Suarez, who uh, has a new team up in uh, the Pacific Northwest. Tom Murphy, Brendan Rodgers, Chris Archer, a 19 or 1987 35th Anniversary Edition Willie Mays. That's a really nice card. And a Stars of MLB, Christian Yelich. We might get some Topps Chrome Stars of MLB cards. That would be nice. Oh, no, I think the Caddos. Are getting into my pack garbage apologies if you hear some random background noise of the cats oh my goodness uh moo moo that of course is my cat maleficent her nickname is moo moo because she's like a little cow and we love that for her but she's currently in the background just messing with one of the rappers so <laughs> we'll let her have her fun keep an eye on her of course all right more team cards let's flip these over marcus stroman is in the north side of town in chicago Lars Newbar, that's a rookie card I don't have yet. What a great card right there. Lars Newbar. Oh my goodness, now the camera's gonna focus. I, I have the Epoch cam from Elgato on my phone to connect it to OBS, and sometimes it doesn't want to focus right away. I hope the beginning half of this video, I hope that quality is okay. But it looks like we probably just fixed it. That's a very nice rookie card. We'll put that in the possible tie-breaking pile between blaster box and the two hanger boxes. I will also sleeve that card up right after this video, of course. Gotta keep flipping these cards over. And, ooh, we get a gold card with Merrifield. This should be numbered out of 2022, and it is. I know some of you are probably like, Ashley, why are you so excited about Whit Mirafield? I'm excited for the gold, of course, but Whit Mirafield is somebody that I desperately want the White Sox to trade for to fill in that hole at second base. Don't get me wrong. I hope Leary Garcia and Harrison can do the job at second base, but it's very possible at the trade deadline that maybe we can snag Whit Mirafield because he can also fill in the hole in right field if we fail to get someone like Michael Conforto. I really do like that card. I am not the biggest Royals fan they're probably one of my least favorite teams as a White Sox fan given the rivalry but I am a huge fan of Whit Merrifield I do really really like that poll and uh Whit Merrifield and Lars Newtbar I don't know they might be helping the Blaster Box win this battle and then we end on a Stars of MLB Fernando Tatis Jr. card put that to the side right here and uh let's keep opening up these packs very excited about that. And who do we have here? Nothing too special. We got Rinke Hernandez, Pavin Smith again, Wood Merrifield, flip the cards over, Max Kepler, Cal Rayleigh, Luis Robert. Yes, we got his base card. So we not only have his base card, we also have two of his stars of MLB card. I'm a huge Luis Robert fan, as prefaced earlier. I absolutely I'm so excited to have this card. He's he's also someone that I personally personally collect. Not to be redundant there, he is in my PC. I love this card. And then not to mention Mike Yaskremski right behind him with a, a little bit of a typo. Let me know if you can spot where the typo is. I'm sure by now you know where the typo is in his last name. But, you know, mistakes happen. Let's continue with these cards. Jorge Soler just signed a three-year deal with the Marlins. Corey Seager with the Rangers. Ian Happ. And then a nice Mike, Mike Yastrzemski. They did spell his name right there. A 2021 Greatest Hits card. And there's the fish. Stars of MLB. 
Mike Trout card. That will probably also have to be sleeved up as soon as this video ends. And I hate to say it, but it's... I think we already have a winner here. I think the Blaster Box is going to win this battle of the 20 versus $20. 1v1 battle. But we still have more cards to open, so we'll see if it's a runaway. We'll see if it's closer to a tie. We'll see. We'll see if it's like a 1-0 game or a 10-1 game. <laughs> but as we continue opening up these cards... We have Vladdy. He had an absolute nuke in his first ever spring training at bat of the year. Still looking, of course, for Wander Franco. His rookie card. Home run challenge. Nolan Arenado. Oh no. Mumu got into another plastic. Hope <laughs> that's not too loud. A home run challenge. Nolan Arenado. I do have one of Joey Gallo. So I will definitely be logging these into tops. Selecting a home run date. Hopefully they hit a dinger that day. And uh, we can get some free possible parallel cards of either joey gallo or nolan arenado and then another stars of mlb mike trout card not going to complain about more mike trout cards let's keep this going down to our last three packs it looks like saving the relic pack for the end oh i think i saw i saw a name on the back of this pack i hope you all didn't we're gonna have a nice card at the very end but let's get to the first cards that we have here tyler stevenson with a nice rookie cup emblem there nolan arenado just got his home run card i love that picture him blowing a bubble in action it reminds me of when adam eaton hit a grand slam mid blowing a bubble let me know in the comment section down below if you recall that moment. Wade Miley card. Carlos Rodon, newest member of the San Francisco Giants. Okay, a 35th anniversary card of Frank Thomas. Yeah, I think the blaster box has won. And then the man, the myth, the legend, the chase card, if you will. For Tops 2022 Series 1, Wander Franco, his Stars of MLB rookie card. I'm going to sleeve this up ASAP, and then I will get into a top loader after today's video. Wander Franco. So we have his, I do have his rookie card 35th edition of the 1987 Series. Now we have his Stars of MLB card. Just need his base rookie, and then we, fin we fill out that trifecta if you will that's a great card and let's put the rest of these to the side down to our final two packs and i'm pretty confident in saying that the blaster box has won this 1v1 but let's keep opening up these packs still many cards to be going through and looking for But no Wander Franco here, but we do get a Topps Chrome Stars of MLB Pete Alonzo card. And then a base Stars of MLB Garrett Cole card. Not too shabby. I like how they've thrown in some of these Topps Chrome cards um, in the Stars of MLB mix. That is really, really nice. Put these cards to the side and then get into our last pack of the video. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell icon right next to it so you don't miss any future pack opening videos. Of course, um, I do put out a lot of MLB The Show content if you're interested. It will also give you notifications for those videos as well as some YouTube shorts. Um, feel free to like the video if you liked the video and drop a comment on what you think which card in particular won this batter? There's a battle, excuse me. There's Wander Franco in a Slugger reunion. I say the Blaster Box, but if you think it's the Hanger Boxes, let me know and let me know why. And let's finish off the last couple of cards. Got a Refractor Johnny Cueto. This should not be numbered. Oh, we have a backwards card. Oh, duh, this is the jersey patch. Oh my goodness, Ashley. Yo, oh, Juan Soto. The nice 22. That's my favorite number, and Juan Soto is an absolute legend of a guy. What do you think? Do you think he's going to surpass Mike Trout as the best player in Major League Baseball? That might be a hot topic, but something to look forward to throughout this season and the next couple of seasons. I'm just happy that they're both healthy and ready to start and play a full 162. Great card. And then we're going to end with another Stars of MLB, Luis Robert. Wow, what an absolute 
fantastic video. I am very, very happy with all of these polls. I mean, come on. Let me just uh, move it on over here. Warner Franco. He is the man of the video, if you will. The chase card for everyone. I'm still looking for his base rookie. Maybe one day we will get it very soon. I also need some uh, Lucas Giolito baseball cards. I have yet to pull a base Lucas Giolito card, let alone a parallel. So hopefully we get some Lucas Giolito luck in a future video very soon. Let's just put these boxes back on camera. And uh, yeah, pretty fair to say that the Wander Franco, the Frank Thomas anniversary card, they're, they're going to carry, if you will, the blaster box to victory over the two hanger boxes. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to making many, many more of these pack opening videos. I've enjoyed the heck out of them the past couple of weeks. I've been putting these out. And again, we are just getting started. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy spring. And I am looking forward to the regular season of Major League Baseball starting very, very soon. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your days. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.